Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our conjunction day video on Monday here. As you know, from Thursday, we're going to do the aspects and the meaning of aspects. So today we are doing the conjunction of Sun, Moon and Venus. And what happens when these three planets are sitting in your horoscope? Okay. And if you do not know what kind of planetary placements you have, what conjunctions you have. If you have three planetary conjunctions, because I've already covered two planetary conjunctions. So for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including where on the second page, you'll find exactly what sign each planet is in, nakshatra, padhas, and you will see exactly what conjunctions you're having, including all my books, astrology, conjunction, and aspects of the speed of light especially my conjunction books, I cover two all the way to eight planetary conjunctions. And I also show you how to study conjunctions because conjunctions are not as simple. It's not just like you learn the meaning here and then, okay, you can predict that every time as to what's going to happen because a lot of things go into play. Okay. And we'll discuss some of them here, but mainly in that uh, um, book, you will understand what conjunctions really are. And so, Today, we're doing these three planetary conjunctions. So, first of all, Sun, Moon, and Venus. What do they represent? What do they stand for? Before we try to understand the mixture of these things. Well, Sun, as you know, represents your ego, your self-esteem, your pride, your confidence. Sun represents your father. Sun represents how you deal with authorities. Sun is your soul. What is your soul desiring internally? Externally, we might want many, many things. Internally, if you look carefully, soul simply just wants that one, you know, particular thing. So that's what um, sun represents. What is moon? Moon is kind of like sun. Moon is part of your personality. It it's, it's represents what you're thinking. And especially what you're thinking inside is what you express outside most of the time. It's who you are. Because what you think inside, it what becomes around you. If you like dark things within the mind, if you like darker colors, you like black only, you okay? A person that, of that nature would be wearing all black, the, the walls will be black, you know, everything will be black. And so people can understand who you are, what you're about. And moons also represents your emotions, how your emotions are being expressed. Do you have no emotions? Do you have too much emotions? Are you balanced in emotions? And moon represents your ups and downs and emotions, meaning depression, happiness, anger, bipolarism is seen through the moon. Moon represents your mother, motherly figures. Moon represents dairy, milk, you know, food, hospitality, nourishment, taking care of people. Okay. And trust me, they're, 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 these things represent many, many more things. I mean, truckload of things, but this is what the basic meat of this, uh, these planets are. Then what is Venus? Venus is your ability to form relationships with other people, your need to express your ability to love, comp give compassion to people, love to people, your sexual desires, your luxurious desires, and your creative desires. That's what Venus is. Venus represents the power of creativity within you. How well creatively can you do things? How creatively can you relate to people? Because like a doctor, okay, may not have such a powerful creative Venus, but a salesman, an artist will have a great Venus because they have the creative way of doing things. Doctor can have a great Venus and what will happen is he will use creative ways to cure you, creative ways to uh, find um, cure to illnesses. But that's what Venus is. It simply represents your inner passion in life. It represents a woman. It represents a wife for a man's chart. So when these three planets come together, what simply it shows is that first of all, you grew up in a family which was, which was full of creative people. Where your mother and father kind of pushed you creatively. They're like, you know what? Try thinking about this problem creatively. They didn't go by the books. They, they were more like... Hey, let's, let's take a creative approach to things. And especially what you got to understand about sun in a conjunction, he brightens the quality of a planet. 
and it's a fine line between combust there's a mysterious thing about combustion that I've really learned and I'm gonna discuss one day but mainly when a planet is next to Sun it's being brightened up it's like a, a torch being put on a particular planet like moon Sun looks at the moon moon is the brightest thing in the night but moon becomes different moon is a very receptive planet moon is not throwing its light onto someone else what moon does moon takes on everybody else's energy and he reacts off of it so here he's being brightening up by the sun or actually it's not being brightened up by the sun it's actually eclipsed by the sun it's so close to it that there's probably a no moon depending upon the degree but then venus is with moon so venus it's so a moon is trying to take light off of of the venus the quality of venus so moon what happens here the creativity becomes a part of your personality your ego your self-esteem and your mind is constantly thinking of doing things creatively you want to do creative things but the thing is in a conjunction you will never have a perfect scenario which uh, planets are very closely conjunct because in a conjunction a tight conjunction is considered less than five degrees a okay conjunction is between 0 to 10 degrees or 5 to 10 degrees is it okay conjunction then from 10 to 20 degrees becomes a loose conjunction 20 to 30 degrees is literally like ooh, very slight rays of the planet is affecting the other planet in the uh, conjunction the house itself is being affected by all three planets don't get that wrong but the planet itself it may not be getting that receptive energy so in a in a way if let's say your moon and sun are closer than venus then moon and sun will have a heavier say and for that you can go watch my sun and moon conjunction if your moon and venus are closer then moon will have a sun will have a lighter say in your conjunction but venus and moon will have a bigger say so if this happens then go watch my moon and venus conjunction because for me to describe that it's literally taking up extra five ten minutes because you can go simply watch that so if let's say your sun and this is where degrees become important you have to know and understand the concept of degrees what is degrees because each zodiac sign is like 30 degrees long and in that 30 degrees sun might be at two degrees three degrees four degrees moon might be at 15 degrees 16 degrees 17 degrees venus might be at 25 degrees so you have to kind of look at your horoscope and see okay my moon and sun are less than five degrees apart so moon and sun conjunction is becoming for stronger venus is at 25 degrees venus is hardly having any effect on sun and moon but if sun and moon are at five degrees venus is at 10 degrees yeah we, we were calling this a tight conjunction where everything is being affected by each other but remember in a conjunction the planet that holds the lowest degree has a bigger say so let's find out what happens when each planet is holding the lowest degrees and so let's say if in this conjunction sun is holding the lowest degrees okay what happens is is that everything that you express emotion wise everything that you want to do creatively every relationship that you want to form out there has some sort of a egotistical agenda to it meaning mainly all of us have egos we all are dealing with our egos the the illusion of ego but with sun holding the lowest degree it just becomes a bit more prominent and so here you will see a person forming relationship based on the fact what will happen to their status after forming the relationship so you will see a person who uh, or a guy want to go after a girl because he knows if he marries that girl everybody's going to look at him in a certain way everybody's going to be loving him everybody's going to think he's the coolest guy because he's got the hottest girl he will somehow manage to find love for that girl i love her truly but the basic idea of approaching that girl would be because of the fact it's rising up his self-esteem and his ego you know and if let's say moon is holding the lowest degrees in this conjunction then moon will show that the person will base all of his ability to form relationships express himself creatively and his personality will be receptive to emotions a lot all the relationship that he's forming all the relationship that he's getting rid of are based on emotion simply like he's sitting and he a person with this lowest moon degree would be sitting and be like oh my god he did this to me 
And then that's why this happened. Oh my God, I'm never gonna talk to him again. It's like you're just drinking tea at some birthday party and suddenly you're thinking about things. What happens is they think then too much about all the relationships in their life. They want that all the relationship to be perfect and if it's not perfect, they wanna get rid of them or they simply get emotional about those relationships. Where somebody who may not have moon in this conjunction but some other planet, they'll be more logical. Let's say if Mercury was here, they'll be more logical about the relationship. But here, Moon is adding his emotions. He says, I'm, I want to experience emotions in this relationship. And I'm not experiencing it. My goodness, this is not going to work out. Now, their creativity is based off emotions. These are the guys you will see or girls you will see as an actor or actresses who are doing more of romantically oriented emotional roles. Stories that, uh, you know, kind of end up with a, a heartbreak, you know, leaving guy, guy leaving the girl, girl leaving the guy. Their creativity really is all about how they're feeling emotionally. If they're feeling really dark, they will write about the dark things. If they're feeling romantic, they'll write about the romantic things. If they make an art, depending upon their mood and how what sign the moon is placed in with this conjunction, you know, that's how they will going to be making their art. If let's say if this is occurring in Scorpio, just as an example, and I'm not going to cover all 12 signs right now. Later on, I will. Right now, I'll show you that the, 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 the creativity will be really based on the sexual expression and the darker side of life. Now, if Venus holds the lowest degrees, what happens is their mind is constantly thinking of how to balance relationships in life. They are very balanced about relationships. They are very compromising in relationships and they are all about forming the right kind of relationships in life than rather based on emotions or ego. They're like, I want this relationship to work out. Sure, I may want you for your looks. That's how I, I am. Everybody's like that. So don't think the planet of the lowest degrees is really just having the most say. Oh, no, no, no. But mainly what will happen with Venus is that their relationships will be solid relationship will, will be able to uh, withstand the, uh, uh, the tide of time, the uptide and the downtide. And sometimes it may not, depending upon the sign, how close Venus is to the sun, you know, what other plants are aspecting this conjunction. It will all be, you know, uh, kind of manipulating these things. This is why it's just, it's such a chess game, astrology, you got to understand. It's a chess game of all these different maneuvers that you have to play by and look at with, you know, your intuition and your, you know, um, spiritual knowledge. But that's how these con uh, conjunctions are really read. But with Venus simply, uh, you know, you're forming a relationship with people who are very creative. Your mother and father are really creative because Venus is, remember, just like your mother, sun and, and moon, the mother and father sitting on a throne of Venus. You're going to get more creative parents. If sun is holding the lowest degrees in this, or let's say moon or sun are holding the lowest degrees, your parents may be thinking creative, helping you creatively, but they may not be, cre they may not be creative. They may not be artists. But when Venus is holding the lowest degrees and there's a very close, um, conjunction of these planets then yeah uh, mother and father will be you know very much uh, creative people wanting to do artistic things okay so guys this was my analysis of sun moon venus conjunction if you're new to my channel subscribe below again if you want to know uh, about your two planetary conjunctions check out my channels and if you want to know the details of understanding a conjunctions check out my books here Astrology, Conjunction, Aspects of the Speed of Light, my new magazine, including all the consultations at this link. Otherwise, we'll see you on Thursday with our video on aspects, okay, starting with the sun aspect. Otherwise, we'll see you later.